Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. So the Milwaukee and, uh, Brewers are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. And on the hill, Aaron Ashby. Well, he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season. I mean, coming in, guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s. So many times there's some bad luck. Seiya Suzuki digs in now. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Suzuki. Right side. The dude. Throw to first is yeah, in time. Right. Two down. Batting third. The center, center fielder, field number 24, 20. Cody. Three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat, Nicholas the dude. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Stay hot up there. Here we go, kid. The pitch. And fouled off. The pitch. Cap dances one, out of the way of that one. Next ball. pitch is outside. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, great stop. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. That is a I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Three. 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 Nicholas the dude up now for the Brewers. Oh for one, he grounded out in his first at bat. The dude, a former All-Star, just 21 years old. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. First pitch just misses. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. He's been swinging it really well lately. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Sal Fraley grounded out his first time. Swanson, good feed, that's one. Plenty of time at first, that's a double play. Up next to the walk on. The center field. Chris Yellow. Now it's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. The pitch. 
Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 3-1. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jordan Wicks departs, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Keegan Thompson. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Sal Fralick up now for the Brewers. That one's in there, 0 1. Left hand hitter waits. Inside corner for a strike, and it's 0-2. And, and at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Next one misses, and the count one and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Now a pop-up on the infield. And that is that. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Brewers three and the Cubs one. And now it's Miguel Amaya. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Runner on the move. Pitch in for a strike. Bottles the transfer. No throw. Now pitching for the Cubs, number 65, Tyler Duffer. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Nicholas the Nicholas. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And there's the strike. Oh, well, these Brewers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Despite having nine hits in the game. Oh, this is deep to left center. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A solo shot. And that gives him a lead. It's 4-3. times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter but at that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through <laughs> one out runner at second so up now for Chicago Jamer Candelario Three two on the way. Ground ball up the middle. Throw over to Telez, and there's two away. 
Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Yeah, nice yeah, job yeah. of the pitcher yeah, to bear down, make yeah, the yeah. pitch, get the ground yeah, ball. Yeah. Excellent piece of work. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.